to a Barnes & Noble up in Seattle the other day, and the clerk said, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Barra, but we had 20 in yesterday, and there was only one letter. And of course, that's really good political, because it means we're somehow connecting. We're connecting with the American people, and we get a chance to show them, to stop them, the truth. So what is the truth? What is the bottom line? Um, and you can build the story however you want. But basically, you're saying that NASA has lied to us. In essence, our government has lied to us. Because they're one and the same, right? They're, they're, they're interwoven in not, some ways. Not necessarily. See, okay. this is where people need to think more. People okay. need to be much more sophisticated, which, of course, a 21st century viewer or reader these days is. It isn't the government. There is no such thing as the government. There are several governments. And they're at war with each other. And you see occasionally evidence in public that there is some kind of war. But in fact, most of the time, the nuanced positionings are hidden. It's really almost like the old feudal system. And we've all been raised on stories of Robin Hood and Sherwood Forest and the Sheriff of Nottingham and you know, the King John and the terrible things that were going on in England when Sir Richard, you know, the good guy, the King of England was off fighting in the Crusades, and the bad guy, John, was basically trying to steal his empire behind his back while he was off doing good for deeds. What we're looking at in the current U.S. government, which the founding fathers never, and they were wildest nightmares that maybe the you know,